Free Weekend. And so the last you would have seen us was up in the Parbold area, heading towards Liverpool. And the journey was quite successful. And they got as far as the Saracen's Head. And then we were just meandering up and down that stretch of canal uh, for a week or two before going into Liverpool. Uh, but unfortunately I fell ill. Oh, and I was ill. Uh, it wasn't COVID related or anything like that. Uh, I picked up a bug off my daughter and to which she thinks is very funny. And I was ill and it took me nearly two weeks to recover from it. Uh, got my first naughty boy email from the CRT for overstaying uh, in one location. Although it wasn't busy and I can't say I was taking up a more space for somebody else because there was always spaces around me. So nobody was ever stuck, stuck for a mooring because I'd been overstaying. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't very well and I never got to Liverpool uh, because Moonshadow texted me and said, right, you're booked in to go Thursday night, uh, Thursday day, sorry. And I just said, oh, I can't move, I'm not moving. So that's it, I got, uh, I got left behind. <laughs> because I was really really ill uh, and then of course I never really caught back up with Moonshadow he went into Liverpool then he had things to do at home and whatever you so uh, so I ended up coming back through Wigan and all that uh, on my own I didn't come on my own uh, my two daughters one came down one day and helped me through Wigan and the other one came down the other day uh, and helped me get through Plank Lane, uh, which in hindsight wasn't actually that difficult, but it was nice. Uh, and then just pootled along the Bridgewater back to home base in Northwich. Uh, of course, the big news of the, of the year, and this good news and bad news in the same breath, I've got a job. So of course, I've been bumming around now for like nearly 18 months living the life of Riley and but of course it couldn't continue because I had no income unfortunately I'm not a millionaire and I was just living off savings and uh, inheritance so uh, an opportunity came up for me to go and uh, do some consultancy work for my previous employer and I took it but it means I can't go long distance cruising because obviously I need to go to work a couple of times a week. So I am, like I've been stuck around the Northwich area for all winter, I'm probably gonna be stuck around here for the foreseeable future. So a little bit frustrating because we were planning to go and do uh, a 10 week expedition to Stratford upon Avon this year. And so disappointingly I can't go and Moonshadow's gonna go off without me. Uh, but unfortunately, whereas Moonshadow's a bit older than me and has a nice fat pension uh, to keep him going, I don't have that, because uh, I'm only a youngster. And so back to work it is. I always knew this day would come, and I'm not. I'm disappointed I can't go long-term cruising, but you know, it is what it is. The main thing is I'm on the boat, uh, I'm in a job that yeah, I'm quite happy, it's nice to go back to see all my friends and former colleagues, uh, you know, and see if I can help the company to to go forward, you know. So, yeah, it's not actually that bad, it just means I can't go too far, but I have been bobbing up and down, uh, you know, and I know the niches now in this area, this stretch of canal, because I've spent all winter here. Uh, and I know where I need to get road access so that I can get picked up. So yeah, so it's not working out. I've been back at work for about a month now, I think. Uh, and it's working out. Uh, it's working out okay. You know, it's provided me just enough income. I don't need a mega income. Uh, but it's provided me just enough income uh, to top up the funds and keep me going. So, so yeah, that's the big news. I am now a working man, but as you can see, I'm also cruising as well. So as I say, we're on the Jubilee weekend, uh, and I'm just heading back to the boat lift now. I'm booked on to go down the 
boat lift tomorrow. I'm going to spend the weekend on the River Weaver. Uh, I'll have to come back up Sunday so that I can make myself accessible to go into work uh, on. I'm coming back up Sunday so I'm accessible to go into work on Monday. But then on Monday I might choose to go back down onto the river uh, and see how it goes. So yes, yeah, so that's where I'm up to. CRT work going on here. Uh, taking out the old concrete banks and replacing it with Armco. Some of these banks, even though they're concrete, don't forget the Romans invented concrete, so just because concrete don't think that they're new. You know, they could have been here since the 60s. Uh, it's like a bit of rock there as well, so they could be original banking. You know, it's a couple of hundred years old, but because it collapses into the canal, uh, and it'd be much cheaper for them to put Armco in and actually try and restore the two, 250 year old banking. It's a shame, but you know, we've got to be realistic, I suppose, uh, in the budgets.
will note that my vlogs are well, they're quite uh, far behind actually because like I say I'm still uploading vlogs uh, like January and February and well, the only way to catch up is to upload more vlogs but to be honest with you you know uh, I just want to leave it leave it as is one a week uh, but from there I'm, I'm having a real crisis of conscience at the moment about whether to continue vlogging uh, and especially if I'm not going to be doing any long distance cruising uh, then what might, what might be the point but ultimately uh, I have been unsuccessful in creating a Successful, unsuccessful, incredibly successful YouTube channel, and that was probably my own fault. Uh, I didn't really probably take into account what people like watching when I first started vlogging, and it wasn't very good when I first started. You know, my videos I didn't have any sound, uh, I didn't have me talking any rubbish on them, and I just because I liked to watch cruising videos, you know, people cruising up and down canals. Uh, and people can quite happily not speak all day long for me but then of course I quite realised quite well I say quickly is that people like to hear what's going on you know and like a bit of a bit of a natter like and naturally that's not really me so I've tried quite hard to you know talk rubbish basically because people seem to like talking rubbish but with degreeing levels of success and I think because the channel probably failed fairly early on really then it's never really been able to recover from that uh, and I'm not going to say it's not I'm not heartbroken over it you know uh, and I've seen and met and know a few other YouTubers that have been highly successful uh, in half the space of time that I've been doing it and they've got thousands of subscribers and you know what good luck to them and I watch their videos uh, and I find them highly entertaining but really when I'm watching them I've realised now that I'm not really watching where they are or that I'm watching them and the video is more about them uh, than it is about where they are, where they're cruising about their boats you know they are just uh, coincidental things after the event so and like you say you've got to be quite naturally uh, charismatic and flamboyant for that uh, and I'm neither <laughs> so yes obviously I'm not that charismatic uh, and bubbly and because it's just not me uh, I'm a much more quieter person really uh, quite shy really unless I'm in company that I know well you know but obviously and I think a lot of people on the, the canals are probably a little bit like this a little bit Introverted. No, you can't uh, come and live on a boat and not like your own company because you're going to spend a lot of time on your own unless you're, unless you're with a, with somebody, obviously. But for a single person like me, uh, yeah, you're going to spend a lot of time on your own. Uh, I've had to adjust slightly going back to work, uh, seeing all these people all the time, you know. And of course, they're all used to. And I'm not used to being with people, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, so yeah, and uh, will I continue vlogging? I don't know. I'm saying, I'm thinking of jacking it in. I've said it before. Obviously, we're not doing long-term cruising now. In my mind, that is going to uh, rob me of content. And that's one thing that narrowboat YouTubers just do struggle for, is content. Uh, but of course, normally for me, the canal and the direction you go, it creates the content. Uh, you know, and because I'm not really going to be doing anything new, and I don't just want to keep filming the same old stretches of the canal. Uh, although the difference now in summer, you know, late spring, early summer, of this canal and it was over the winter, is green, green, green. So yeah, so you know, I'm still, I'm probably about uh, oh, a month behind on uploading. Like I say, I'm still uploading. January into March like and we're sort of like into June now so I'm still three months behind on uploading I've got at least uh, eight uh, more videos ready to upload 
Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, you know, they're going to get even further behind, probably, unless I start uploading two a week. Uh, but I didn't plan to do that. So, yeah, so we will see. This could be the last video I ever make. Uh, I hope not, because I just bought another tripod. <laughs> or, you know, you may see more. But I don't want to just chase content for the sake of content's sake. Uh, you know, if I had thousands of subscribers, I may do that, but I've got 79. And thank you to my 79 subscribers. Uh, you know, and like everybody says at the beginning of a YouTube channel, they don't do it for the subscribers. But the reality is, a little bit of you does. Uh, you know, and I think a lot of us know we're never going to make millions on YouTube. I'm not going to make anything. Uh, but even if you do meet, reach the magic target of a thousand subscribers uh, and 400 watched hours so that you can monetize your videos, you still make very little money. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to just chase content for the sake of content. Uh, I've seen other YouTubers doing that now. They're just chasing content for the sake of it. And, it becomes, you know, uh, becomes a little bit boring, I suppose. I don't want that pressure in my life. I've got enough pressure now to go back to work. Uh, so, and editing, oh, don't talk to me about editing, is a veritable pain in the ass. Uh, and I think I can, I've not done myself any favours, I don't think, because I've made some quite hefty videos a lot of footage and because the more footage you show the more hefty they become and then the more edit heavy they get uh, so maybe that's a mistake on my part maybe should just lighten them up a little bit uh, you know short on amount five ten minutes rather than 15 20 nearly half an hour some of them you know uh, and although they are also a log of my activities for myself uh, you know, I can look back now and they're on the cloud server that is YouTube, you know, uh, and I can just look back whenever I want uh, and look at my own voyage and it's funny actually, do you actually go look back at your own vlogs, primarily because when you upload a vlog uh, to put on YouTube, because you made it probably 8 to 10 weeks ago, you have to actually go back and watch it so you can find out what happened in it so you can put in your video description you know oh look at this i fell in the water not that i've ever fell in the water but you know what i mean uh so yeah it's uh we will see will i continue i do not know but watch this space never say never